Welcome to RSU5 Community Programs and Remote Recreation. I am Recreation Coordinator Chris Garrett, and today I'm going to cook a meal for you. We're going to make chicken tikka masala, so you're going to need a spice blend. I use four parts cumin, two parts cinnamon, two parts pepper, two parts ginger, two parts salt, and one part cayenne pepper. You can use tablespoons or teaspoons. I usually use tablespoons because I make a lot of this and store for the next time. Now that you have your spice blend, you're going to use one tablespoon of the blend, half a cup of yogurt, and half a tablespoon of lemon juice. That's one and a half teaspoons. Mix it all together in a bowl that you can put into the refrigerator. I usually do this the night before I cook, but you can do it in the morning or at least an hour or two before you do your cooking. Dice 12 to 16 ounces of chicken breast and mix it with your marinade. Cover the marinade and store it in the refrigerator for up to 24 hours. Now it's time to cook the actual meal. To start with one tablespoon of butter, one clove of minced garlic, and a small jalapeno pepper or whatever you can get at the store these days. Heat the butter over medium heat, then add the garlic, stir it around. Once it starts to get golden, you can add in your jalapeno pepper. Ready 8 ounces of tomato sauce, 1 cup of heavy cream, 2 teaspoons of cumin, and 2 teaspoons of paprika. Pour the sauce into the pan, along with the cumin and paprika, and then add the heavy cream. Stir it all together and you'll start to see that beautiful orange color. Don't forget to start cooking your rice. Take the chicken out of the refrigerator and place it onto skewers. I like to take tin foil and line the cookie sheet that I'm going to use to make cleanup easier. Put the skewers on top of the baking rack and place it into the oven to broil on high for six minutes. While this is broiling, it's a good time to prepare your vegetables. I like broccoli, but you can also use cauliflower or fresh peas. After six minutes, take the chicken out of the oven and turn over each of the skewers. You should have gotten a little bit of char on each piece. Put the chicken back into the broiler for six more minutes. Your sauce should be coming along nicely. After you put the chicken back into the broiler, it's a good time to add your vegetables and stir everything together. A lot of different people claim to be the inventors of chicken tikka masala. The dish may be Indian, it may be Bangladeshi, but it was most likely developed outside of the subcontinent possibly in Scotland, possibly in England, or possibly by cooks cooking for British soldiers in India or East Pakistan. When the chicken is finished broiling, take it out of the oven and add it into your sauce. Try to make sure not to twist the skewers when you put the chicken on, or you may have a little bit of trouble getting it back off. You have about 10 minutes left at this point. This is a good time to prepare your cilantro. You won't need a whole bunch of cilantro, but you almost never do. I like to serve the tikka masala with some naan. I didn't make this at home, but you can buy it at the store and it only takes two or three minutes to heat up. Your tikka masala should be ready. Start with a bed of rice and add the chicken tikka masala. Don't forget to slice up your naan and garnish with cilantro.
Enjoy! Okay, now it's your turn. I'd like you to get online and share a recipe. It can be something that you make all the time. It can be something that's a little bit of a favorite. I'd love it if it's something that your kids can help you cook. But whatever it is, just share that recipe, share some pictures, and maybe a video. And we'll see you next time on RSU5 Community Programs Remote Recreation.